There's some interesting villagers. I need to show you those teachers, don't I? You do? I kind of want to show off the island in this episode, but it's not really anything all that special. Mm. But I want to show it off anyway. Who is that? So... Let's sell my subterranean bone. See, only 60 rich, that's nothing. I'm supposed to go to 330. Come on, work with me. Yeah. So I'm getting good again, a lot of money. Can you see at the bottom there's my total money? <laughs> the bone has real life. I'll be set. But I think the rich is based on the yen. Ah. So, not much. So I think about 300 yen is what a dollar, so. So I'm told from. Mr. Colomary, Joe Colomary, who was American. Fair enough. I don't want to go in Harrods. They have the lightning broom! Oh, I hate you! Ah, I don't have the money! Well, I do in the bank, but I want to save up. For what? Stuff. Stuff, generally. To save money. Ah, the lightning broom is so cool! And look at it! Does it have... a jungle gym? Candles, sofa, table, stuff I don't really need. Which have I got in the floor department? Well, it's a shame we didn't get any posts this episode because I love to see your, rea your reaction that my postman is a cat. A cat? Yeah. A normal pet cat or a pat? Or a it's, that's cat that. He stands on two legs and he's quite short. Uh, Fair enough. No, I don't, don't have the moon floor, which is a shame. So, I'm not going to buy anything. Who's Mr. Ponce? He is the owner, Picard. Ah. If I insulted any of you, I'm very sorry. He does walk in around very posho like. He was so, wasn't yeah. he? Yeah. So, one, one thing I quite like about him is his name. What's his name? Picard. Name? Captain Picard. Picard. I'm going to sell a flute. I can't play either. Limelight, night garage, garage, night garage, screen communication. Okay, not what I'm after. So we're done in Harrods, let's check out the boutique. The boutique? Yeah. The, the only time you'll ever see me willingly go into a clothes shop is in a video game. I know. In real life, Holly, you don't care if anyone would walk around but naked. You really don't give a damn. You might be slightly concerned, because you're <laughs> seeing a lot, but hey, apart from that, you don't care. Mm, more or less. Like, I, I'll wear what's comfortable, not what's fashionable, because fashion is something that, quite frankly, confuses me. The only thing that makes us different but slightly similar is, we, I like wearing stuff that's also just makes me look good and it's comfortable. I don't really wear skirts or dresses unless it's for a very special occasion. Or my mum's pinning me to it into it. Mm. I know, I never wear dresses willingly unless my mum is go standing over me I have proof. allies. I have proof. Do what wore dress once. The wedding photo. The wedding photo. Now I'm gonna move before Holly punches my head off. <laughs> I still have to find that picture of my prom though. Because um, Guys, this is how anti against dress she is. On her prom, uh, she wore a tux. You heard me correct? A tux. A suit. I mentioned this on the stream the other day in the chat. I she think wore Philip... purple trousers. I think purple! It was, I think it was Philip Plays who was co commentating with my friend Josh. And he read that comment and he goes, She wore a tux to prom. <coughs> well, I thought you said you were a girl. Josh goes, She's just that kind of girl. And Josh there. knows me so well. So is Mary, so. Now I'm going to show off the island. The island, admittedly, is not all that well, we've special. Been, we've been friends for what? Three years now? Yeah. Three, two years? Something like that? Yeah, I met at a concert we were performing at. So you, you more hit off with um, Ebony. Yeah, Ebony. 
Yeah, we first met when her friend was doing the Simon cow pants. She pulled her trousers right up against her boobs. I'm like, good lord, can that trousers go any further? <laughs> I remember how we first met. She tripped over my leg. <laughs> Here's the taxi. That, might, that looks really uncomfortable to sit on. Especially if you're a guy. Ooh, no. <laughs> I do wonder how guys sit comfortably with... <laughs> <laughs> Ollie, Ollie, you're diverting! <laughs> you and your mind, woman! <laughs> For any innocent pair of people out there, I do apologise. I think your mind has just been ruined. Um, if you wish, I will tell you the address so you can sue Holly if you can pay for your therapy lessons. Uh, <laughs> Holly! <laughs> Bye, go see innocence, jeez! <laughs> what innocence? No, strangely enough, I've known as the innocent one of my group of friends at college. Hey, I haven't even have, haven't had my first date. I haven't had my first kiss. I'm the totally innocent. The only time I've been near a boy is the smagging one. Um, <laughs> don't get me wrong, I do. I've got lots of male friends. I just don't go out with them like that. Yeah. I've, I've had a boyfriend and we've kissed. It was more like peck a pecks on the mouth or something. We never went, actually went on a date. I wanted to go see Happy Feet with him and then... Holly, you flirt! <laughs> What the it heck is, is that? It's a blackberry. Yes, because that's what it looks like in real life. As you can see, this is the island. Not much happening here. Will be perfect if we don't bury someone. It's here. Now, I got something wrong last episode. If you shake, I said last episode, if you shake trees, Ooh. Right. if you shake trees, um, then nothing will come out. I was wrong. If you shake trees, sometimes a shield bubble pop out. Ooh. But obviously not on this tree. And on Sundays, you'll see a pirate, a pirate standing here, and you can challenge him to a duel. I'm really hoping to get someone to commentate on a Sunday so I can show that off. Ooh la la. Then maybe I'll do that next week with Josh because um, I know he's busy with work and he's got weekends off. So fair enough. So we'll see if we can get him on a Sunday. Yeah. It's then um, something I suppose I should really mention. Vivian in the boutique is a hat stand. Okay. This guy's a mummy. Obviously. Because mummies like to get out and fly. Yeah. I don't know if there are any other humans. I think Charlie the noodle guy is human. Okay. He looks more human than most of the characters. So, no, no, forgive me, I'm being a bit dim witted here, but you've got a vampire teacher. Yeah. A tree. Yeah, he's also a teacher. A lion. The headmaster or whatever. Is that a lion or...? No, I think he's a sun. A sun? Yeah. At night he turns into a moon. Interesting. Um, you've got the Russian doll. Yeah. You've got a mummy. Mm -hmm. For a taxi driver. And you've got... Was the one in the boutique shop? She is a... Hat stand. Hat stand. Okay. Don't forget the Martian. And the Russian doll. And the robot. Mm -hmm. You can also get mobile phones as villagers. You, you can get a mobile phone in a game? Well, not to use. It's a character model. Raised eyebrow. What? <laughs> you get a villager who looks like a mobile phone. Oh, now that makes sense. <laughs> I thought you could like, say, oh, we've got phones you can call each other. Like, what? Sorry, I'm acting a bit blonde. Um, no offence to blondes out there. Including the one soon next year. <laughs> <laughs> Please, don't hurt me! Spear finger! No. Ah! <laughs> I'm going to show you off the other teachers quickly, and then we're going to go into mystery time. That's my bed for folks, so if you don't like it. This is Miss Straw, the scarecrow. No one set a light. Right. I thought you can redecorate the classroom if you want to. Who's that? That's Mr. Oakley, the tree. Ah, look at his nose. He looks like a tree. He looks like Pinocchio. You change your timetable from 8 to 8 to 12 to 12. Fair enough. That place barely never burned down, or those two are kind of ash. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, if there's ever a fire, then those two are screwed. Oh, one more thing I want to show off. When you complete a mystery, this, this is like a trophy room up here. When you complete a mystery, 
you get a trophy. Ooh, as you see by this one. Because I completed one last week with that narcoleptic gargoyle. And also has them in here. They're not in order. There we go, gargoyle. A statue that secretly safeguards the school but never shows movement to other souls. Wow. That's quite an interesting statue. Yeah. And now to mystery time! Which is probably going to be the biggest mindfuck for you. Now I'm scared. If you hear me screaming, folks, don't mind me. That's just me. My brain's dying on me. I um, <laughs> I do apologise. I also, I would, in theory, like to show off the haunted houses, but I can't do that just yet because to get through it safely, we, we need a spell that we don't have yet. Uh, question: What's those th those three things that are dancing behind the school? I have no idea. They're just there. Decoration. I assume so. If anyone does know what the heck they are, we are completely wrong. Please do let us know, because now curiosity is going to kill the cat. Okay. Don't say those are cats in this town. Saying that, on the way here, a cat would leave me alone. Really? Yeah, it followed me to the bus stop. <laughs> it kept meowing and demanding that I stroke him. He wouldn't leave me alone for the full half an hour whilst I was waiting for the bus. Wow. And that was in Oakley. It had a pink collar. Hmm. It was quite an old thing. It's quite. It's got some white fur coming off it. Hmm. Why do books have eyes? Uh, you give them your fish and bugs, and they give you rewards for them. They eat them. A bit like that monster book where you have to stroke the spine. Oh yeah, yeah. For Harry Potter. Only slightly more sentient. Right. I still can't believe how he had to jump on the book to get it. Yeah. To, to get it to stop. I'm like, okay, genius. But what the fuck? That's actually quite an apt comparison because the way I usually describe this game is a mix between Animal Crossing and Harry Potter. Ah, yeah. I'm guessing we're not the only Harry Potter fan. Yeah. Though, as I said last episode, there are sequels to this game. Ah. But they only in Japan because outside of Japan, this game didn't really get a good reception. So. Fair enough. Yeah. Mystery time! We had again in Japan. Oh, but... okay. What's wrong? I hear a knock. I can't activate mystery time. <laughs> oh. Oh no! That's a shame. I really want to show off the extracurricular lessons. Oh well. Ah uh, well. So what are you going to do now? Uh. Wrong. I don't know. I could end this off now because it's getting to be quite long. Fair enough. But I want to show off one thing because I want you. To, I want you to see this. Show off, show off, queen of show off. So I'm, well, I'm going to try shaking your tree so I can find this first of all. Uh, I want to show you the shield bug and how you catch it because it's quite interesting how you catch it. What the heck is that? That's not what I expected, but fine. Okay, wait for it to fly off. Beetle. That oh jeez, huge. That's only a step below legendary. Ooh. So I, I haven't caught that before. So yeah, you can find beetles if you shake trees. That that I did not know, and I can only wholeheartedly apologise for getting that wrong. <laughs> I actually found I didn't I didn't look that up. I had to I shook some trees randomly, and the bug fell out. Ah. Nom. He's happy. Okay, that's very rare. You're gonna get that um bit of text. You only see that when you give him huge or legendary bugs. Well, I hope he doesn't bite your hand. <laughs> Another emerald. Wow. One thing I'm sure of. Um, stairs up here. Only really works at night time. But up here is a telescope. <whistles> Sorry, that's. I quite like crystals. Yeah, as you can see, it's quite cloudy. Imagine so. the sort of flying pig that's going perfectly just through the sky. <laughs> You'd be like, what the fudge? You know, I wouldn't put it past this game. <laughs> if anyone is asking, yes, I am mad. <laughs> Only by a lot. 
Yes, I'm the sane one for once. That, that's worrying. Compared to me, yeah. <laughs> Though, put it with kids, he's completely lost and I'm fine. Yeah. Put, give me, put a dog in my lap, I'm happy. Put a child in my lap, I'll freak out. Well, unless they're 11 years old, you're good with my little brother Adam. Mm. Until he farted on you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to find a gas mask pretty quickly. <laughs> I told you, he's part of Ergie. Um, I didn't warn you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I think we're going to call it quits here. We've gone on for quite a long time. And All right, I've split, split these into roughly 20 minutes. So, oh, should... Oh, wait, I'm gonna, I can't do that because I've got the, the eight classes to show. Ooh, like they'll, that. they'll be roughly 20 minutes. The classes aren't too long. Anyway. So, are you going to say au revoir? Yeah, this has been the Chester 100 and... The London Fighter. This, well, this has definitely been a very good experience for me. Maybe we'll do this in the future again. Um, Holly will create a link so you can get onto my one, which I will be uploading some videos. Once I teach how to do some editing. Yes, I can say. <laughs> okay, <laughs> peace out. Bye-bye.
problem to one like me right? Be to open up. Be to open up the beam by whom you don't do. Do you think that you're the one the beam by whom you don't do? 